5.30 in the morning, and it is light. Overcast, but light. And wet. Following through with moving these nukes out, we've just about transferred all the sixes now into full-sized equipment into their own dedicated yards and I'm focusing these fives to fill in all the empty dead spots within my yards just because well logistic wise it's easier to move these fives than it is with sixes just because of my sixes stapled down to pallets and these fives are all independent. I can move them around. So it's just the way I do it. And they're telling me that I better hurry up. Transfer me now. And we will, as soon as we get the sunshine back. This year just seems to be a perpetual, you know, just waiting, waiting. I have these pails still on the colonies and actually I'm gonna get my entire apiary stripped off of pails because we're gonna see some severe weather tonight. High winds are forecasting up to 100 clicks. So it's, these pails are all empty. Right now, like I sent around for these was it last week as we were waiting for this nectar flow to come in. And I couldn't wait any longer, so we put half a pail in. They've consumed that already. We have flowers right across the countryside. Everything is blooming all at once. Saskatoon's wild plums are all together. Like, that's that's late for wild plum. Dandelions, you know, all we need right now is sunshine. We have the moisture. And as soon as we get it, it's just going to be a surge of nectar coming into these colonies. So I'm kind of walking that balance right now. These colonies are growing. They need feed, they're consuming, right? So they're gonna be needing sugars. And I can't give it to them because if I give it to them, then all those little bees are just gonna plug it full on the, in the opportunity of sunshine. They're gonna plug it full of nectar and then I'll be bound up, so I can't let that happen. But, you know, that nectar flow is like a weatherman's forecast. It's just always within reach. It's always there. So I make the decision not to feed because I don't want to plug out the nests. And then we get this kind of weather. And then they go hungry, right? So it's that constant complaint right to feed or not to feed that is the question but i'm pulling the pin on the pails especially with this severe weather event supposedly coming down onto us the pails are coming off the plugs are going in and i don't want to deal with empty pails blown all over the place and nectar will follow through in about two days I hurry up to get to the yard to get the work done before the crack of dawn and then I stand here and talk to my phone so I'll make this brief but this is just a representation of the battery within my operation I'm hinging on the battery of these bees every year I make them I have this stock behind me at all times to be able to either get me out of trouble of heavy loss events and just provide me with that continual refreshment of stock within my operation. It allows me to make a more um, common sense call of my hives throughout the spring, not have to just leave colonies because I'm afraid to leave an open spot, call them out, put them into my nuke operation, drop a fresh nuke into that spot and keep every single spot productive and minimize my losses through calls. And it's a steady job. These ones, like I say, we're going out to the yards to fill an empty spot. So I got to make a tour around every morning. I hit about five or six yards every morning now with these nukes just to drop into the empty spots. Now that empty spots are freed up again. 
and then we got to follow pretty swiftly behind to transfer those. On the anticipation of sunshine, we'll be sitting in the yard waiting for that sun to shine. It's a lot of work making nukes. I've dedicated an employee towards it. I've put a lot of effort into it, but it all goes part and parcel with maintaining productiveness within the operation, focusing on cutting my costs by removing that outsourcing, right? And, you know, just drive more revenue down to that bottom line. So I've incorporated into the workload of my management strategy just to reinforce not only common sense beekeeping, but to just reinforce profitability, risk management, you know, all those business aspects of operating a business. You need reliability, you need fail safes, you need to be able to back up on certain situations, and you need to be able to take a full advantage of opportunity when it falls onto your lap. So what does that mean for a beekeeping operation? That means having a shit ton of bees available to use at all times, right? And that's what I call my battery. My battery that is just about to start releasing its charge as I place them out into my yards to fill in the dead spots.